Six keys to trading earnings season. So we're doing a special webinar for SMU Premium today, and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a highlight about uh, some of the things that we're gonna highlight. But if anyone's interested in a longer form video of this, uh, we'll put up a recording on our blog for how to trade earnings season. The six keys to trading earnings season that you should be thinking about are stock selection. You gotta find the right stocks to trade. I wrote in one good trade. You're only as good as the stocks you trade. That is certainly true in earnings season. You will sit there and you will watch a stock that you want to short drop three points. And you will see a stock that you want to get long go up 10%. You want to start to understand how to find those opportunities. Routine. You want to have a very solid routine that makes sense to you so you don't miss those opportunities when stocks go up 10% from the open that you wanted to get long but didn't. We've seen some pretty good opportunities last week in Macy's in the retail sector getting beat up a little bit. And we've seen some uh, pretty good upside surprises in Lowe's and Home Depot and the Cisco's of the world, which, which used to be the bellwether of the NASDAQ. So you don't wanna miss that. You gotta have a routine so you don't. You wanna have a recognition of your best trades. Trading is about you understanding your strengths and doing them bigger and more often. So I like to trade certain types of setups between 9.30 and 10.15, and we're gonna talk about that during our webinar today. There are very specific types of trades that I'm looking for. There are very specific setups that I am searching for. And then from 10.15 on, there are very certain swing setups that I'm looking for that have very specific variables, and I know what they are, and I can tell you what they are, and I know how to find them. You want to have a roadmap for what you're doing. So you're going to come in during earnings season and there is going to be a potential for you to overwhelm yourself. There are going to be too many ideas. You might walk in and see 15 ideas that you think you ought to cover. Well, start ripping through some of those ideas, but then you want to narrow it down to the trades which you can cover well for you at your skill level and the levels that you're considering and the setups you're considering and the risk reward that you're going to think about having with these types of setups. So one of the things I like to do is write down in my notebook, I do not want to miss lows if it gets to this price and here is a couple of setups which I think may manifest during the trading day. I don't want to miss spies if they get below 204 today because there's a catalyst with the unfortunate uh, plane disappearing. Uh, last night and follow through from the Fed minutes being a lot more uh, hawkish than we had thought for raising rates. Confidence for you to wait for your trades. Uh, that's key number five. Really good traders don't force trades. One of our best traders has made about two trades today because he didn't actually see a setup that he really liked. The other day he made about $35,000 in one of the plays that he really did like. He has the confidence to be able to sit there and wait for the setup that he crushes and he doesn't force it when those other setups are there. Okay, you need to have that confidence too. And then you wanna re be reviewing your best trades. What do you do well? Let's do a playbook trade on them. Let's put them in the SMBU Performance Center. Let's talk to other people about them. Let's think about trading them bigger and expressing them perhaps with options or with futures so that you make a little bit more money. Squeeze more money out of your strengths. So again, look for that on the blog, a longer form. We can talk about this obviously for an hour, and we are a little bit later today, but those are some keys for you to think about. We'll talk to you soon, trade well. Welcome to The Winning Trader. The number one factor in whether you trade profitably is what? It's whether you are trading setups that have trading edge. We recently surveyed our trading community as to what would help them the most. The response was overwhelmingly universal. You were most interested in learning trading strategies that you could implement profitably, or said another way, to solve the problem faced by most traders of lacking setups with trading edge. So with that, here at SMBU, today we introduce the winning trader you will learn 10 trading strategies taught to and traded daily 
on our professional proprietary trading desk in New York City. Here are the four steps to how SMB will teach you these strategies. One, we will hold an online live trading class sharing each setup weekly. Two, for the following week, you will archive a playbook trade that we teach you how to do of this setup daily. Three, during our daily mentoring sessions to which you will have complete access, we will review these setups from that day's trading. Four, you will have complete access to all of our trading tools that will help you spot these setups during market trading and follow along with us trading them in real time. Take the first step towards becoming a winning trader.